Good morning, everybody. Today, I wanted to do a video on my daily routine, just a little get ready with me so I can show you how I incorporate herbalism into my day to day. Uh, just show you some of my favorite store products that we carry. So you already know that the first thing I do when I wake up is stumble downstairs for my cup of coffee. Uh, I love to add in the apothecary supplements that we carry. So sea moss is wonderful. It has so many vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Uh, it does have a little bit of a strong flavor, so I do like to mix some other different, uh, you know, cocoa powders in there, some other supplements just to kind of blend it all together. I also use the Better Than Botox from Apothecary, which is a plant collagen. So it just really keeps my skin looking fresh and bright and uh, really helps promote skin elasticity. So then I add a little sweetener with our mini honeys from Naturocentric. This one's Rose Cardamom. Uh, we have so many different flavors in store. But the rose cardamom is really nice, sweet, just a little floral, uh, just mixes really well. So once I get my little caffeine boost in me, we are ready to start the skincare and beauty routine. So we first start off with the Cedar Creek Apothecary Lip Balm, of course. It has shea butter in it, so it's super moisturizing. I like to go in with organic jojoba oil. This one's from Plant Therapy, and this stuff is just incredible. Any organic jojoba oil has just worked wonders on my skin. Uh, you know, it's super moisturizing. It doesn't make me break out. I use it as a face cream, a moisturizer. Uh, during the day, I use it as a cleanser, and I know you're thinking you didn't wash your face this morning. I only wash my face once a day. Uh, I use jojoba oil to take off my makeup at the end of the day. I've just found it keeps my skin a little uh, brighter looking. It doesn't break me out as much. I don't get so dry. So I just wash my face at night. So then we go in with a little bit of sunscreen. This is from Thrive. Uh, this is a really lovely natural product. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's just super light. Again, it doesn't break me out. Uh, it doesn't irritate my skin and it is so so important to wear sunscreen you guys even if you live in a colder climate uh, where you don't get a lot of sun it still peeks through those clouds you're still subjected to those rays uh, make sure you get it everywhere so that's me just saying make sure you put it on your neck and your chest because those are super important to protect as well your neck is an extension of your face so then for makeup i really found that nars works for me i don't know if they're an entirely natural brand but I just know that it doesn't break out my skin, it doesn't irritate my skin. So I just go in with a little bit of concealer, uh, you know, just some of like the darker spots, under eye bags, things like that, just to conceal a little. And this is by no means my glamour makeup, this is day to day. Uh, we then go in with the Among the Flowers Lip and Cheek Tint. We carry this in store as well, I absolutely love these. Um, I have used it so much that the label actually wore off, so you can really see it, but uh, it's great. You can use it as a blush, you can use it as a lip tint. It's just super rosy and beautiful, and they carry a couple different shades. I then like to go in with this Merit highlighter. I think they are a little bit more of a natural brand, uh, but again, I've just found it really works for me. It's super luminescent, it's really creamy, uh, no skin irritation, no breakouts. I just really like this one. So onto mascara, I found that drugstore mascaras work perfectly fine for me. I think this one's just L'Oreal. Uh, I see no difference between that and like the more expensive ones. Uh, then we go in with this wonderful rice powder from LBCC Historical. This is all handmade, uh, really natural products from this lovely lady in Wisconsin. So I use this as a setting powder and I found it works really well to prevent creasing, which I get with a lot of my cream makeup. So I use it on my face. I also use it as a dry shampoo sometimes as well. Um, and I just absolutely love this stuff. I love multifunctional products, so that's great. For toothpaste, I actually use a natural tooth powder. This is from the Home Farm. So this stuff is a little bit unusual if you're not familiar, but it is a dry powder. So what you have to do is you have to wet your brush a little bit. So just stick it under the water, dip it in the powder, just like so, get it on there and then you just brush your teeth as regular. So this stuff is wonderful. There's me getting it all over my lips. <laughs> Try and get it in your mouth. 
this stuff is wonderful it really helps um, with gums it just does a really nice job of polishing the teeth there's no SLS or fluoride in there so it's really good for you it doesn't harm your skin barrier I think going with the Himalayan salt mouthwash from the home farm as well uh, again just leaves my mouth feeling super fresh clean um, no synthetic gunk in there so it's just super good for you I then like to go back in with that lip and cheek tint and use it as a little bit of a lipstick so again, nothing synthetic, all natural. And then to top it off, to give it a little bit of shine, we use the pantry lip balm that we carry as well. This stuff, you can see my face light up as I put it on. It is so shiny. It is so smooth and hydrating. It's just beautiful. Then to top it all off, we use our Speak Easy perfume, which is a huge seller for us in store. Uh, the scent is wonderful. It has a little bit of a gin undertone, so it's just really unusual and fresh. And that is my full routine to get ready. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, we are always happy to provide, uh, you know, custom recommendations depending on your skincare goals, your beauty goals, even just your overall health goals. Uh, we're very passionate about these products and cannot recommend them highly enough. So come talk to us in store or shoot us a message or email. Thanks, guys.